everyone this is Tim and I hope you're doing well I am in Barcelona and this is early morning and uh, folks are just getting ready just about to start the day it's about 7 a.m. I got a chance to do some exploring yesterday and a lot of walking on some touristy areas this is Los Rambas busy streets lots of things to see and I was advised this is the area where you can look but don't touch and don't eat because there is a significant tourist premium but as hard as I tried, I could not resist, especially going into the market, La Bocaria. There you'll find stalls and stalls of produce and food and meat and many, many plump pigeons. And these golden crispy delights has caught my eye. This is the Spanish national dish, the paella inside a burrito and then deep fried. So this is a traditional paella in a burrito deep fried. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Gracias. Okay, thank you. Very tasty, but in a crowded market, you do have to be careful. And unfortunately, I was not. And uh, my phone or my iPhone is somewhere in an industrial area at the moment using the tracking device. And while I know where my phone is, I'm not brave enough to go to an industrial area and ask for my phone back. So uh, really important to keep your eyes on your belongings and uh, not to carry too much. And one way to keep your pockets from being cluttered is the Ridge wallet. And thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Ridge makes amazing minimalistic wallets that are effective at keeping your valuables and data safe. When at home or when traveling, I hate bulky wallets and Ridge is an effective solution to that. And let me show you mine. Nice and compact with room enough for cash. And these are euros here. And right here, this is an area for an air tag. And if you're like me who misplaces a wallet all the time, having an air tag offers peace of mind. It's not gonna prevent theft or anything, but if you leave it in your car or in your hotel room, you know exactly where it is. So really nice to have. And with the durable materials used, Ridge offers a lifetime warranty. And in fact, the team at Ridge are so sure you'll love the wallets that they'll give you a 99 day money back satisfaction guarantee. So give them a try. Visit Ridge online and there you'll find over 30 styles and colors to choose from. Each wallet holds up to 12 cards with room enough for cash. While carbon fiber is my tried and true favorite, check out their site for many new exciting styles from the ceramic powder with many different colors to the kits in hyper lime green. Aside from their amazing wallets, they have rings and watches and key cases as well. And if you hate jingling keys like I do, they are an effective solution. The key case holds up to six keys, all organized. So no more jingling keys in your pockets anymore. And Ridge was kind enough to offer a promotion. Just go to ridge.com slash Tim Lee and use code Tim Lee to save 10% off your purchase. That again is ridge.com slash Tim Lee. And the code is Tim Lee to save 10% off your purchase. And with that, uh, I am pretty excited uh, I'm getting a little hungry and the sun is rising. I think it's time for breakfast and we are going to Europe's best breakfast buffet here. So uh, I hope you're hungry. Uh, come on, let's go. So this is the Hotel Majestic in Barcelona. Really beautiful here and I think uh, the breakfast is on the first floor. We are uh, pretty early, but it still already has started. I think we go up these stairs. The first time in here? First time in here, yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, this is wonderful, yeah. Oh, what a nice morning and what a nice place. Beautiful dining room here. And it is getting quite busy and Christian who was uh, showing me around mentioned there's a couple of stations here. And also here, you can order things on the menu that are made to order. So the best of both worlds, but because it's early, I think I can use a cup of coffee. And I think here it comes. Oh, good morning. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. And I couldn't have come at a better time. 
a very good morning to you. Mm. All right, and with that, I think we can get started. Let's check it out. All right, so this is looking pretty nice. And to start things off, look at this. I think a little bit of bubbly is in order. I'm always surprised sparkling wine is uh, an excuse to start drinking in the morning. This is really nice. This is in an alcove here. So I think I'll start right in the middle and let's see. So we've got the meats and the cheeses, but I think I'll start with a Spanish tortilla. So that's looking really nice. Right here. Ah, and the breads and the meats all together. We have mini baguette. Oh, and moving on, grilled sandwiches in different shapes and sizes from the rectangle to the triangle to the oblong square. This is a pork sandwich right over here. A little bit of cheesy goodness. Some turkey breast. And a tomato, basil, pesto. And then a little bit of focaccia. And let's see what else they have here. Beautiful salads, which we will skip. But a little bit of finger sandwiches that are looking really nice. A little bit of cucumber, a little bit of salmon. Oh. And while I skip the salad, I will go for the avocado. Right over here. And before the meats and cheeses, I think we'll need a little bit of bread, rustic bread here. All toasted up. All right, and while we wait for the bread to toast, let's take a look. This is the best charcuterie I've seen here. Lots of meats and cheeses. Little bit of olive oil. Little bit of tomato, or a lot. All right, now back to the meats. A little bit of Catalan sausage. And of course, a little bit of ham. And I found out that you don't want too much of the ham fat, just in perfect proportion. A little bit here. Some cooked ham, chorizo, more sausages. This is pork loin, cured turkey. And maybe a little bit of manchego, because we are in Spain. Right here. A nice free, a nice blue, and a nice fresh cream queso. Right over here. And there is more. There is some hot food here. Oh, a little bit of potatoes. Little potato number one, and a smaller potato number two, and an even smaller potato number three. A little bit of sausages. This one. Let's see what they have here. I think this is reminiscent of an English breakfast. A little bit of tomatoes. With a little bit of bacon. Ah, and a wonderful creamy scrambled egg. So I'm not going to get a lot because there's made to order dishes as well. And this is just to tie you over until the order. And the breakfast is looking pretty good. So that was pretty elegant for sure. And what a good start. And definitely a little bit of bubbly to start the breakfast. Cheers. I think I gotta try the salmon there a little bit. I'll switch a route. Oh, oh wow, thank you so much. And lo and behold, another dish. This is eggs Catalan, but I think I'm gonna go for the salmon first. Arrange these a little bit. This is a knife and fork situation. I believe this is a cheese knife here. That's okay. Mm. Very nice, very refreshing with layers of cucumber and bread and salmon. Mm. 
And I think we got to cut into that egg while it's hot. And I think this would be the perfect yolk and it is Let's give this a try. Nice and runny and jiggly all over the place. Cheers. Mm. Very good, but I think I have an idea because with all these cheesy toast, I think I'm gonna try one of these first on its own. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of ham. Mm. Nicely toasted, such impactful flavor from the ham and the cheese. And of course, a little bit of a dip in the eggs and the tomato. Mm. Very nice. I think these are soldiers elevated. A little bit of toast and a sous vide 63 degree egg, nice and runny with wonderful tomatoes. Mm. Very fresh, really good. Let's try the baguette, looking really good. Nothing wrong with a nice fresh baguette and uh, even better with some ham. Mm. Table is getting so full. Mm. Let's try the tortilla next. And this is tortilla Spanish style. Cut so softly. I think this is gonna be so tender because you should see how much olive oil they put into this in the potatoes and the onions. Mm. And it's so worth it. Soft and tender and luscious, very nice. Mm. And remember that massive block of um, cured meat? I couldn't really dig into it, but I think it is the filling in the sandwich here. Here's... Mm. So spicy in the best way possible. Balanced, a little bit of cheese, crusty bread. Very nice. And I think it needs a little bit of a dip in that wonderful Catalan egg. Mm. Very nice. And now for the traditional breakfast item, at least traditional in the North American sense. A little bit of potatoes with some queso cream. Mm. Oh. Those potatoes are absolutely divine. Probably the tenderest and freshest potatoes I've had. Nice and soft, so well done. Just melts in your mouth, very creamy. If you're here, as little as it is, go for the potatoes, and I think I'm gonna go for the eggs. Oh, very nice. And finally, I think we'll have to combine everything together, and I probably shouldn't have let the toast rest too long. A little bit of guacamole, or a lot. A little bit of manchego, and a lot of ham. Let's give that a try. Cheers. Mm. Always in Spain, the bread, the ham, the cheeses are phenomenal, especially put together and composed into a fantastic bite. I'm gonna finish this round. We'll probably get some made to order items and we'll take you back to another alcove where they have all the desserts. 
Cheers. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, yes, please. Well, Linda, thank you so much. Everything is fantastic. It's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for your coming and you're in the Hotel Majestic. What a great way to start the day. <laughs> thank you. Enjoy you. All right. So I could not resist getting another dish. And this is what came. Just one eggs many on bacon. And uh, I think let's cut it in and see what happens just as expected. A luscious, wonderful yolk. A little bit more energy before the dessert section and it cuts beautifully. Mm. Wonderfully soaked eggs many. Mm. That hollandaise is nice and buttery, beautiful salmon throughout. Mm. So, we'll finish up round two and we'll go for some desserts. And it's nice to have a new drink in the form of a mimosa. Cheers. Mm. All right, two rounds, and I don't have that big of an appetite for breakfast, but let's take a look here. All right, so a wonderful way to end breakfast with some sweets. And coincidentally, that's the uh, best way to start breakfast as well. And let's see, some wonderful pastries and brioche. Oh, and more brioche. Hola. Okay, this feels like a very German-inspired uh, section here. And since I have my coffee, a little bit of chocolate poisson. Ah. Some more beautiful pastries, and samara, and a tower of cookies, maybe a mandolin. A little bit of chocolate cookies. I think I'm gonna save that for later. Look at this, whole baked apples. Some fruits, and definitely a brownie or two. I think maybe just one. Okay, and cheesecake. Spanish cake. There we go. Oh, is this a Spanish cake? Oh, oh, that looks lovely. Next to the cheesecake. Oh, and Angela was saying the pineapple tart. And she mentioned not to miss this. A little bit of a wiggle getting full. The really great people there and great recommendation on the Spanish tart, but I think the plate is looking a little dry, so a little bit of fruit is in order. And this is one of the nicest salads here of fruit. All right, in here. And that is the breakfast dessert plate. All right, so this is the dessert plate, and I didn't go for the baked apple, but there still is quite a bit here with the fruits, and I did go for the cookie and a little bit of yogurt cream to cut all the richness of the dessert, and I can't wait to give that Spanish tart a try. This is almond, and it's actually so tender. A little bit of yogurt here with some honey, Mm. Nice and subtly sweet, wonderfully flavorful, little bit of almonds, but nice and tender and moist, and uh, a little bit of cream is just the perfect touch. Gotta try that cheesecake. Pick that up. Oh. That might not look like much, but that is the best cheesecake I've had. Baked nicely and so custardy. What a nice treat. So when you're here, go for the cheesecake and go for the potatoes. As little as they are, they are done perfectly. Cheers. Mm.
Aaron. Thanks to Angela. I think I gotta go for the pineapple tart. Cut into it. Nice pastry, not a soggy bottom, as they say. Mm. Oh. Very nice. Not too sweet, but lots of pineapple flavor and a little bit of coffee is needed. Mm. So I'm gonna finish this off, but I can't let you go without trying that brownie. Oh. And it cuts beautifully, nice and fudgy. And I know this is gonna be rich. So a little bit of tangy yogurt cream is needed. Hmm. Very nice. So this is the Majestic Hotel and um, they're uh, one of the best breakfast buffets in Spain. And I think they claim it's the best in Europe. So uh, I'll let you decide. A really nice folks here with Angela and, uh, and Linda. Really good start to the morning. Thank you so much for joining. And until we see each other again, I hope you're eating well. I hope you're traveling well, and I hope you're keeping well. Just need a little bit more of the mimosa. Cheers to you and yours, and God bless. So after this, it's a trip to Narbonne, France, for the best buffet in the world at Les Grands, and I hope you'll join me for that. And now, off we go by train to visit the beautiful city of Narbonne in southern France for what I believe is the best buffet on this planet. And Le Grand Buffet certainly has earned that title and then some. It is certainly big and grand. Thank you so much for joining and I can't wait to connect next week as we visit this wonderful buffet with all the great food, the great people, and the great atmosphere. Thank you again and I'll leave you with some scenes. Proposer au quotidien cette historique.